Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Cancer. It is a general, so it may not resonate with everyone. However, you can always get a personalized reading, and I'll make sure to link info below. And if it does resonate, have fun running with it, and if it doesn't, have fun throwing it out. It just means that these messages weren't meant for you this time, but hopefully next time they will. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, and as always, feel free to swap energies. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with or someone in your surroundings. And do not get caught up on gender. Feel free to swap the gender as it resonate as it resonates in your life and in your timeline. Because remember, guys, time is fluid. So whenever you watch this video, some spirit wanted you to receive these messages. I've also made a new Facebook page where I'll be uh, posting things uh, I can't post here and doing like a monthly card uh, for each sign as well. Uh, same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. And I would so appreciate y'all going over there and uh, giving it a like and a follow. Um, what else? Oh, and if you guys would love to uh, bless my channel, you can do so through Facebook Pay. And anything I get, I definitely would put right back to the channel, whether it be cards, um, tripods, whatever. Um, and let me see, do I have anything else to tell you? No, I think we're good. Okay. Oh, no. As always, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. I do read your comment. I do respond. So thank you so much for all your support as always. Okay. So these are your cards. First, we have Wallflower Upright, clarified by the Emperor Reverse, clarified by the Three of Cups. Then we have Open Relationship, clarified Upright, clarified by the King of Pentacles Upright. Then we have Ice Queen Upright, clarified by the Six of Cups Reverse. Okay. So what I'm getting here is Wallflower. Um, I feel like Remember, feel free to swap energies. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with. What I'm getting here is I feel like somebody here wasn't really living up to their full potential. Maybe you just kind of, you haven't really been yourself lately. And it could be because of this person you've been dealing with. Because we do have the emperor and he's in reverse. And it doesn't have to be a male. It can be a woman. Uh, like I said, feel free to swap the energies that resonates in your uh, life and timeline. Um... So what I'm getting here from this is either you did this on your own, you isolated yourself, or this person kind of isolated you from others, or just the whole situation just made you kind of be isolated, very much like hermit mode. You know what I'm saying? Because um, with this person, I do feel that this was somebody who was a domineering, um, my way or highway, and they were immature, they kind of lack self-control. They could be kind of pushy or... I feel like sometimes they could even kind of bully you in a sense. Um, this can also be someone who... Who's controlling or, or can lose their control. Like, you know, they, get, they can lose their temper. Um, yeah. So I think you were dealing with this person and like I said, they're kind of domineering and maybe they kind of made you, I don't know, I feel like this person kind of hurt your feelings and stuff like that. They kind of maybe had you very much, I don't know, what. how can I say it, like. You were just so concerned about this connection that you didn't really put much love into yourself. Okay, and then we do have the Three of Cups. And yes, Three of Cups can mean celebration and all this or that. But since we do have open relationship here and we do have Ice Queen over here. And then we do have the um, Emperor in Reverse. I'm feeling like this person was dealing with other people. And I feel like intuitive you kind of thought so. Or you could have been the one doing it, remember? Um, yeah, I do feel like this person was kind of keeping you in third party situations. Um, I think you were, you caught on to this or you at least intuitively thought so. This is what kind of caused you to be kind of in retreat mode. You kind of felt isolated or you isolate yourself. Um, I feel like you were very worried about this connection. You're very worried about it. You're worried about what they were doing. You were worried. You were just worried. I thought this person just, I feel like they drained you to be honest. Open relationship. So with open relationship, obviously somebody here was not ready to commit or they could have told you they were going to commit, but they really didn't plan on doing it. 
Um, this person wanted to be free to do what they want with wh whoever they want, whenever they want. They weren't really ready to have some sort of commitment. Um, this person just wasn't serious about a relationship. Maybe they just wanted to be, you know, sleep around or just sleep with you. Maybe it was something just physical. They might have been chemistry, but it, ultimately it was more so physical. This is somebody who wanted to be free to date other people. I feel like this person has always kind of done this. I feel like they've always kind of just dated around. Even if they were with somebody, they were still flirting around or dating around other people, um, unbeknownst to the other party. Um... Yeah, this person wanted freedom, freedom of choice. Yeah, they wanted to be able to free and come and go as they pleased. And then we have it clarified by the King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles, yeah, this is someone who's very charming. Very, very, very fucking charming. They will literally charm the pants off of you. Um, This is someone who, you know, gets a lot of attention. This is somebody who, hmm, um... They're very smooth talkers. They're extremely smooth talkers. They will tell people what they want to hear so they can get what they want. Okay, this person can also be very good at, you know, at what they do, whether it work-wise or people like this person. People like this person. So I can see how this person would get attention, get it a prosper, uh, prosperous. No. Um, yeah, this person was giving to other connections besides you you guys' connections. Um, he was like putting, you know, his eggs in a bunch of baskets or, besides yours. Um, we do have the Ice Queen and it's upright and it's clarified by the Six of Cups reverse. So what I'm honestly feeling here, I get feel two things, but what I'm more so feeling is... You found out that this person was doing things behind your back, um, talking to other people. You might have heard through the grapevine or you could have just seen it through Mac, through the phone, like messages, texts, whatever. Um, you were very, you felt it anyways, but you, I think there was something that made you kind of like really opened your eyes more. You were like viewing this person with rose colored glasses. Um, somebody might have told you something and you were like, no, 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 that's not how they are. That's not how, maybe they were before in the past, but they're not this way with me now. No, they were still doing this. I feel like there was some, there was friendship here with you and this person. Like before anything, there was some, there was like a, a friendship. But you might have thought you could have changed this person. I think you kind of secretly knew this person would do th these things, maybe in other relationships, but maybe you thought, no, I'll be the one who will change them or whatever. But you just, you know, you became the wallflower. So I think once you found this out, um, you turn into the uh, ice queen. So with the ice queen, you know, you're just kind of turning your back on this person, on this connection. This is very much so the queen of swords energy. Um, this is someone who's very cutthroat. This is someone who can see through your bullshit, your lies. They know I mean, they're extremely intuitive. They know what's up. They know that you're bullshitting them. They know you had shit going on behind their back. Um, this person might just want to cut you out of their life or just like, you know, you might not be giving them the time of day right now. Some of you, some of you feel, you know, this hurts you. This hurts you. So you're like guarding your heart. You're protecting your heart. Um, you're not just going to let them walk all over you you know what i mean although you are a cancer so you might have given this person the benefit of the doubt you might have given them chances but i feel like you know that this person was doing something behind your back and they hurt you and this could have been why you are in you know wallflower mode why you're like in retreat mode you know but now you have your guard up and you're not going to take shit from him or her um we do have that clarified by the six of cups reverse so if there is a separation here um leaning more towards there is not going to be a reconciliation i'm sorry uh, this person might want to sneak back in maybe just for 
I don't know. It could just be just for physical stuff. Or it could be that they miss your friendship, you know, but they still hurt you. And I don't know how you, from what I'm feeling here right now, you're upset with this person. You know, maybe it'll take time. You'll forgive them and move forward with or without them. But right now, I think you're you're salty. You feel salty, you know. Um, so, yeah, I do feel that there was um, there was definitely an emotional upset here. After you found out this news, that's why you are in this, you know, Ice Queen, Queen of Swords uh, energy. Somebody here is not taking responsibilities for their actions. Somebody here is not taking responsibilities for their own emotions. You might be very emotional right now. You might be very, um, well, like I said, somebody here feels hurt. So I can see why you would be emotional. Spirit really wants you to try to take control of your emotions as much as you can right now. Um, I know it's hard though. So yeah, I feel like this person, you know, somebody here is still dwelling on this because they got hurt. They got hurt. Um, at the bottom of this deck over here, we have a blonde female. Um, she can be blonde to strawberry blonde hair, reddish, lightish brown kind of thing. Um, don't really see her like brunette, brunette. But this could be somebody else that um, this person was dealing with. Or you, take it as it resonates, okay? This is a young male. So this could be someone either, if they're not young by age, they could be just... Um, there was someone you kind of feel like is maybe immature or just hasn't really grown up, okay? Uh, short term, and it was in reverse. So it's short term being in reverse, what I feel is you were hoping this would have some more longevity, but ultimately it didn't, okay? Um, yeah, at the bottom of the other deck, we have the Ace of Wands. So what I'm getting here with the Ace of Wands, yes, it can mean new beginning, new start. But honestly, what I'm seeing here is somebody who was, you know, this also represents the male phallic. So somebody here was thinking with their mangina. <laughs> you know, somebody was thinking with their danger zone. They were having a lot of passion for someone else besides you. Um, they could have possibly been sleeping with somebody else as well. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, somebody here definitely kind of stabbed you in the back. You're feeling the wounds of this. You want to get out of this um, Ten of Swords energy. But also, it also means stagnation. So I feel like this caused stagnation in you guys' relationship. And then we have the King of Cups. So you are very much in your energy. This is you, Um cancer i feel like you gave this person a lot of emotion a lot of time a lot of love um but they just it was enough for them because we do have the seven of swords here there was definitely some sneaky ass fucking behavior here um they were getting away with things behind your back they were talking to somebody else behind your back they were being sneaky behind your back and they were definitely getting away with it which caused you to be in the nine of swords mode so Lots of sleepless nights. You were very worried. You were just, you had anxiety. I mean, some of you cried. Um, you know, you just felt terrible. You felt terrible. Then we have a uh, death in reverse. So there was definitely, or there's going to be a uh, ending here. Um, and you're gonna start some new cycle. Okay. I do feel that there was stagnation. This relationship didn't get off the ground the way you planned it to be. Um. There might have been some sort of interference here. That's the third party. Um, there might have been an end, you know, an ending of this connection as well. And not only the connection that it was like a relationship, but there could even possibly be the ending of you, you guys' friendship. Do you know what I'm saying? Because like I said earlier, I feel like some of you are friends first, you know? Um, yeah. And then we have trust and it's in reverse so what i'm getting here is there was definitely trust issues here and i could see why and i don't blame you 
Then we have new love and it's in reverse. So this person you were dealing with could have possibly met somebody new. There was, you know, this third party energy here and it just fucked up y'all's situation. Okay. Um, and that's what I have for you guys. Um, let me know if it resonated, please. I'm interested to know. Give it a like button if it did. And um, again, if you guys would like to bless my channel, you can tip or donate through Facebook Pay on my Facebook page. Same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. Um, and you can always reach me there if you all have any questions, if you want to book a reading. Um, and I think that's what I have for you guys. So I'll definitely be back mid-month to do another reading for you guys. And stay magical. Bye, guys.